For any Xbox or PlayStation codes or cheap games on any platform, use the referral link in the description. It'll take you to G2A.com. Use the promo code CHEZ over there and you'll get yourself 3% cash back. For all No Identity merchandise, hats, hoodies and t-shirts, follow the link in the description down below to the No Identity Fan Fiber website. Hey guys, welcome to episode number two of the Become a Legend slash My Player series here on the Chesnaw Gaming Channel. We of course had episode one go up at the weekend, thank you for the response to that. Over 3,000 likes on the video, so, uh, and almost 1,000 comments as well of people saying, more! So, here's episode two. Uh, thank you for all of the feedback as well with regards to just basically setting up the save, etc. And the little tweaks and the little uh, kind of tricks of the trade with regards to Pro Evolution Soccer that I obviously... I'm unfamiliar with, as in calling for the ball, etc. Uh, thank you for letting me know what the button combination was there. And also, you guys were keen that uh, I uh, fiddled with my training. Now, I don't know how training works. I'm sure we'll find out in due course, or of course you can let me know in a more detailed comment. But I can. I don't have any focus points to add, but if I take my focus off defence, so obviously being a strike, I'm not going to need defending, am I? I'm going to put one on shooting, I'm going to put one on... I don't know whether to do dribbling or physical. We can alter it, I suppose, from week to week. But for now, I'm going to ensure that my dribbling is better. If I can get at least my close control on point, there's no point being strong if your first touch goes five yards away from you because then you're not going to get there anyway. So I get my first touch under control and then we can work on uh, being a little bit more physical in the challenge, etc. I'm tempted to take one off speed, but I'm not sure how important speed is on pairs. Obviously, in the FIFA engine, it is very important. But uh, with regards to choosing a skill acquisition, I'm going to go with long-range drive uh, to try and improve uh, the number of skills you can acquire is 10. Okay, we will acquire that skill, long-range drive, and position learning. We're already a centre-forward and a second striker. I'm going to try and learn the attacking midfielder role. So then, obviously, if we end up signing for a club that plays a 4-2-3-1... Uh, we can play in the attacking midfield role as well. Position training experience points uh, we're going to have to leave as is. Unless, can I, if I take one off there, can I put it on here? I can, okay. So let's take one, let's just empty defence because I really don't care about my defending. Ah, I'm going to need one for skill training as well. Okay, we'll put one there and let's take one off, hmm, let's take one off stamina because in the early stages of our career we're not going to be playing the full game anyway and then we'll do that. If you have any... Uh, oh, I have, actually have an extra one. Okay, we'll leave that on stamina then. Uh, oh, because it says that there at the bottom I have one experience point I can use. All right, sweet. Well, let me know in the comment section if there's anything else I can do. Uh, without any further ado, though, let's forward the time and head towards the next game, which I believe is Sheffield Wednesday away. We did get a win in the first game uh, at Millwall. Of course, I didn't select the club of Millwall. Uh, I was signed to Millwall by the game. Uh, but we did well. We got an assist on debut. And we are in the starting lineup again, as you can see here. The assistant coach has come to me and said, Ches, you're starting. So we are going to play then away from home against Sheffield Wednesday. I've upped the difficulty to. Uh, I can't remember what it's called now. Is it professional? I've upped the difficulty. Let's have a look in the. Can I check the settings? I've upped the difficulty to professional from regular. I think that's what it what it is. I can't actually check it from here. But anyway, anyway I have upped it from professional. Uh, to professional, sorry, from, uh, from regular. So it's going to be hopefully slightly more difficult. I may change the way that my guy's name is shown. Rather than being Chris Wood all lowercase, I might make it C. Wood, so it fits in with the uh, the aesthetic of the way that Pez um, just uses their aesthetics, I suppose. But for now, let's push into our second game of our career and see if we can't get ourselves a goal and another victory. Drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too for more of this series. The Chelsea series is ongoing as well. And there's, of course, some stream replay footage going up on the channel as well. Link in the description to my Twitch and my Twitter if you want to stay up to date with all of that. But for now, let's go play Wednesday. Give that shot there to Steve Morrison. It's a lovely ball over the top. I'll call for the pass, which we've done well. I'm in the box. And, oh, I missed the target. In the opening five minutes... A really good opportunity to take the lead. It's a great ball over the top by Morrison. He's just slotting me back inside here. Good first touch in around the corner. I've looked for the far post. I've not quite got the technique right. It's always bending away from goal there. Really positive start here though. It's Jordan Rhodes. Out wide to Hunt. Ball into the middle to Lucas Zhao. He's brushed past the tackle but we are going to get it away. Steve Morrison is there. I'm here in support. We've got someone on the far side as well. I'll call for it. And give it to me and I'll play it in front of Steve Morrison again. He's back inside to me and I'll actually try and reverse it back to Steve Morrison again. Cross underneath it's Hutchinson, drops it back to Morrison. Good shot well held by Dawson in goal. 
Our link up play is already very good here at Millwall. We seem to have slotted straight into this starting lineup and are playing very, very well. The chemistry in the side seems good. Hopefully, we can just continue that and have a really solid first season. May even get a transfer in January if we play well. That's a good cross. Morrison can't quite get on the end of it. Good tackle. And Morrison finds me. I'll just lay this in front of my teammate out wide. We found well. Gets it back into me. I'm going to hit that first time and regret doing so. That was very, very wild. I'm still getting used to the way that the shooting works in Pez. Evidently, from, uh, from this one, I haven't quite nailed it just yet. <laughs> Abdi. Abdi. Forward down into Lucas Zhao. Flicks around the corner to Hunt. Cross could come in. He's got space. Cross does come in, but it's cleared away by the defender. Only as far as Marco Matthias and Hunt has another opportunity. And you get a better ball in this time. Yes, he can. Jordan Rhodes nearly underneath it. We're going to clear it away. There's five minutes to go here in this first half. I'm going to lay this in front of the teammate that's rushing forward there. You can see my stamina is pretty dead. That's a great ball looking for Steve Morrison. And he's outmuscled the defender, but he's not quite able to get the ball in towards the teammate in the middle. A solid enough first half. I've had a couple of chances personally. But so far, no goals. Play that into Morrison there. My guy is absolutely dead on his feet right now. I've got zero stamina left, apparently. Maybe we need to work on that in training. There's the half-time whistle as we're trying to build something else. Nil-nil at half-time. Down the line here. Cross could come in. Oh, it has. And underneath it could be the man in the middle who's got there. Oh, what a save! The keeper gets down so well there. It doesn't show my teammates' names above their head like it does for... Uh, the opposition. If, if there's a way to change that, please do let me know in the comments because at present I'm not sure who's who in my team I'm, other than uh, Steve Morrison alongside me. So I'm not actually sure who it was that had that effort there, but the keeper did very well to get down there and bat that away. That's superb goalkeeping from Man in Between the Sticks for Sheffield Wednesday. Very, very nearly 1 0 there at the beginning of the second half. Touches and forwards to me or held that round the corner there to Morrison, and we are away. Options on both sides. I'm going to get myself into the box. Cross could come here. It has done. Morrison could be underneath it. I'm underneath it. Oh! Strange technique from the keeper. It was straight at him. But I don't know whether he slipped. But he's just kind of batted that up over the bar. Was he off balance perhaps? Oh, it's down low. Strange technique. I'm not sure why he wouldn't just catch that. Never mind. We'll take the corner. And if we can score from it. Oh, look at this for a corner. Uh, routine. Everybody bunched up in the middle. Cross comes in. Who's underneath it? It's me again! And the keeper saves for a second time. The man between the sticks is the only reason why we aren't winning this. He's made it. Dawson. He's made two great saves against me. One from a teammate in the opening five minutes of this second half as well. Not sure how much longer we'll be on the pitch for. Our stamina is running low again, but we've definitely made a positive impact on the game. Well worth our starting place. Here's Marco Matthias in behind, but the defender gets there, thankfully, and will hopefully clear it away. Just over, just under, sorry, half an hour to go here in this one. A point away from home at Sheffield Wednesday isn't actually that bad a result, to be honest. But if we can sneak a win, then that would be preferable. All down the line there to Morrison. I've got zero stamina left now. So I'm expecting to be substituted off the next time the ball goes out of play. Unless they feel that even with low stamina, I can still be the man to make the difference. It's a cross in. It's going to reach me. I'm going to give this to Morrison. He shows good strength. Steve Morrison! I tell you what, this goalkeeper is having the game of his life. Great ball into me, but a chest down. And then, it's not the best of technique on it, but I took two touches with my chest. Steve Morrison just stabbed at it with his uh, right foot. But what a save. The keeper's doing it again and again. I'm expecting to be substituted off here. It's not happened. No, it has happened. I am off. Yeah, I've been substituted off for Lee Gregory. Okay. Hey, where's that going? Dawson with a good save. Right. I'll watch the rest of the game. If anything happens, I'll bring it to you. If not, we'll skip to the end. Bannon into Gary Hooper. Over the top towards George Boyd. Don't tell me they're going to win it. George Boyd makes it Wednesday 1, Millwall 0 with six minutes to go. I think that may genuinely be their first chance on goal in the entire game. It's really well worked. See George Boyd look, starting to make the run, pointing for it. And then a late burst into the box, takes in his stride well and just buries it. A clinical finish in front of goal, which is something that we haven't had as a team. And unfortunately, we find ourselves behind here with not much time left to get one back. Corner for Wednesday, actually pushing for a second goal here. 
Barry Bannon with the whip. Underneath it is Forestieri, but the defenders will clear it. Two minutes added on at the end of the game. Looking for Morrison. If he can win that, which he's done well, we might be in for an equaliser at the very end. Out wide to Morrison. Gregory hopefully will bust the gut to get back in the box. Morrison crosses looking for him. Gregory's underneath it. Oh, mistake from the defender. So, oh, tackle him. Oh, it's the final whistle. It is a defeat at Hillsborough. We lose away from home against Sheffield Wednesday. After having numerous chances, both personally and as a team, unfortunately, we weren't good enough. I mean, that was the only shot of the entire game, and they've snuck it by a goal to nil. Eight shots for us, five on target. I got a 6.0 as my match rating. Their goalkeeper got man the match, understandably. Some top draw saves. That's frustrating, but never mind. We'll push further forward and see what else happens. Where does that put us in the league? We've actually dropped down to 16th now. I'm not really too fussed about excelling with the team at Millwall. I just want to grow myself and then hopefully we can um, we can earn ourselves a move sooner rather than later. We are kind of on par with expected progress so far in our career. See the way my stats are going up. Stamina is going to be quite important, I think, actually. Um, after initially, at the beginning of the episode, saying that I'm probably not going to put too much emphasis on it, but I think it might be quite important. Attacking prowess is on the way up. Place kicking is on the way up. Finishing halfway towards 73. Speed is on the way up. Jumping is on the way up as well. We have been winning a lot of headers. So two appearances, average rating of 6.3 and one assist so far in our career. Let's push forward. Up next for us, a game at home this time against Ipswich. You can see I've changed the way that my name is presented on screen now so that it fits with the rest of the aesthetic. But Ipswich are a decent team that we will actually do well to uh, get a positive result from this. But I'm encouraged by the performance that I put in personally in that game against Wednesday, with a number of chances for me uh, on goal. So hopefully we can replicate the amount of chances and this time actually score a goal. <laughs> nice tackle. I'm going to get there. Oh, how was that for a 50-50? The referee's pointing. I'm not sure which way the referee's pointing there, actually. It could be either way. Was I fouled? or I think I was fouled there. Tumbling to the ground. Guy rolling around. Hopefully he's all right. There's no injury there. No, good. Right, ball's come forward then from the free kick. Lofted in. Oh, it's headed towards me. I think I got something on that. I'm not sure, but it's quite comfortable for the keeper. Nil-nil after 10 minutes. Here's David McGoldrick. Played in down the line. Cross could come. It has. Joe Garner's in the middle. Oh, the defender does just enough to put him off. I'm going to try and win this and knock it to Steve Morrison. I think the defender won that, but I should get to this. We've done well. I think I'm learning that if I don't hold the sprint button so often, we actually will uh, keep our stamina a little bit better. So I'm trying to avoid pressing sprint and just kind of jogging everywhere. But Joe Garner's in behind here. It's a good turn. He's done a little bit too much there, overthinking things, I think. Get the ball across here to Steve Morrison, though. And look for the return pass. Again, just jogging and not sprinting too much to save on stamina. Hopefully runners out wide, which we do have. We'll spray it out to this far side. I will now sprint to middle. Morrison's there. Smart save down low by the keeper. It's a good cross. We seem to be the side, well, the sort of side, that uh, are trying to prosper from balls out wide. That's a terrible ball through the middle. A number of our chances seem to come from crosses. So evidently the fact that our jumping is growing and we have tall physical Steve Morrison alongside us. The game plan here at Millwall is get the ball wide, whip it in and try and score some goals. Didn't work against Wednesday, although we did create a number of chances. So maybe we can finally score a goal in this one. It's David McGoldrick. Skipping away from everyone. Oh, that's a great ball over the top to Ward. Diving header. But that is very, very simple for the keeper. Not really too sure why he went with the diving header there. But never mind. I'm glad he did because it meant it was easier for our keeper to gather up. Goalless again at the uh, half-time point, at least providing they don't score from this attack, it looks like it's going to be. Again, though, chances. Chances for both sides, in fact, in this one. Morrison, I perhaps should have called for that. We'll take the free kick, though. Not the obvious foul there. We'll just skip that. Can we end the half on a high? I'm here short, but I want to just get in behind. He might shoot, actually. Looks like he's going for it. He has done. Oh, it's a good save by the keeper before I can react to poach it. Unfortunately, Gherkin gathers the ball again. We're good at creating chances here at Millwall. We just aren't necessarily good at taking them thus far. But it's still early days in our career. Plenty of time for good football once we reach the higher reaches of the uh, football pyramid. This is good football. Try and get away from Cole Skews here. We've done well. Just poke it short. Options out wide. I'm here centrally if he needs me. Oh, it's a great ball. Steve Morrison is in. Shoots. Tucks it home. 
Millwall 1, Ipswich 0. He's broken the offside chuck there, Steve Morrison. That is a great goal. The defender switched off. We'll have a look at a replay. Defender's completely switched off. Where is he? Number 21, just there in the middle. He's tucking into the middle, and then they just don't track him. They just don't track him. I think the number five tried to play the offside, just stop running, and kind of stood still like a statue, but the linesman didn't give it. Great second time ball, good first touch, and then just lofts it in, brings it down, settles himself, slots it home. Millwall one, Ipswich nil. Row into Joe Garner to Ward. Oh, strike, well saved by the keeper. Try and get it away with the defenders. That was hit very firmly. Really good effort from the uh, Ipswich man there, but unfortunately for him, our keeper was right behind it. Again, a ball early looking for Steve Morrison, but Dominic Iorfa cuts it out well. 1-0 up here with half an hour to go. By avoiding sprinting all the time, I have managed to make my stamina last that little bit longer, so we might be able to play... Or, oh, jeeps. We might be able to have more of a say in, uh, in games if we're on the pitch longer. That's a great ball in behind. I've called for it. He's tucked it back, and there's the first goal of our career! Yes! Millwall 2, Ipswich Town 0, we've done it. On my left foot as well. I called for the ball back by double tapping the button. And he's pulled it back too. We play the 1-2 and it's worked. Got the ball back from... No, it was Morrison that went out wide, sorry. Dinked over. Another offside trap beat and pulls it back and just turn it away from the keeper towards the far bottom corner. Oh, a goal. Our first goal. We got an assist in episode number one. We've now gotten a goal in episode number two. Thrilled with that. We are going to get three points, it seems, here against Ipswich. Yes. Great ball down the line. Dinked into Steve Morrison. Are we in for a third? Ooh. Technique was good. Not far wide at all. I nodded that back there as it came forward from the goal kick. Worked out wide and down the line. We really are a side that love to get the ball into the box from out wide, aren't we? Great technique. Similar to my chance in the first game, actually. Just spinning away from goal at all times. But we have the 2-0 lead, so I'm quite comfortable with the way things are. And we're still on the pitch in the 70th minute as well, which I think is the longest we've lasted so far in a game. Forward into Steve Morrison. I am here short. He's given it to me. Morrison's gone again. Just trying to get a turn in here. Uh, trying to wriggle away. Ball played in again early. Steve Morrison chests it down. The technique was decent. It's going to drop to me. <gasps> We scored again! 3 0, we've done it again. It's dropped to me there on the edge of the box. That's so lucky with the way it's dropped to me, but in off the post, we have really settled into this Millwall side a lot better than I thought we would do. Fans are delighted. I want to see a replay of that, please. It was, I'm not quite sure what sort of technique my guy used there. Was it the outside of his foot? Morrison goes for the shot here. It's great technique. He drops to me, and oh, he's just side footed it. Just calmly stroked it home. That is such a good finish. My guy's only 68 rated, but he's done so well there. Lovely ball in. Morrison, if that had flown in, that would have been brilliant. But yeah, you can see, look, just side foots it in off the post. So much space and calm and composure in front of goal. Millwall 3, Ipswich 0. This is the perfect way to react to the defeat against Wednesday. Oh, that out wide there. Five minutes to go. This is the longest we've lasted so far in a game. I've already been substituted by now. But we're on a hat-trick as it happens. Good ball in. Morrison could be underneath it. Tommy Smith gets it away. But that will be a corner, I believe. The chance for a hat-trick. The chance for a hat-trick. I can't believe we're actually on a hat-trick. Corner to come in. It's oh, straight to the keeper. He's only punched, though. Could get it back into the box. Worked out wide. And a drift towards the back post. It's in towards me. Oh! Hat-trick! Boys! Drop the video a like if you haven't already. I can't quite believe it. I just made sure I was still in the mix. And that's a great ball in and perfectly weighted. The keeper got a big two hands to it, but couldn't keep it out. I wasn't sure, genuinely, when my first goal was going to come in this series. But a header, and it's great technique as well. The keeper's done his best, but he can't keep it out. I would have been happy with just the one goal, but a hat trick. Wow. There goes the final whistle. Millwall 4, Ipswich 0. I genuinely can't believe that's happened. I've got the match ball. My third ever professional game. And we've picked up the hat-trick and the match ball. Giving it a cheeky kiss in front of the camera. The grin on my guy's face could probably be bigger. But the grin on my face definitely couldn't be. I am unbelievably delighted with that. We didn't have much possession either, to be honest. 
That's actually the most possession we had throughout the entirety of the game. At half time, it was like 59 to 41. Ipswich dominated possession, but we dominated all the chances. And I got a hat trick. I got a hat trick. I, th I think that's the earliest I've scored a hat trick in any my player series I've done ever. Got a thousand game points for uh, scoring my first goal. That moves us up to 12th on six points now. Brentford top of the table currently. Wow, what's that done for my stats? Speed is up to 79. Will it actually say plus one if a stat has gone up? You'll have to let me know in the comment section because it'll be quite hard to try and memorize all of the uh, stats here. I'm up to 69 rated overall though. That's something I've noticed there. But my progress is actually a little bit ahead of time now. We were just under, now we're just over the expected progress. Three appearances, three goals, and one assist. Lads, how good is that? I really wasn't expecting to get really any goals for the first few episodes. I was just happy to be involved in the play. European Player of the Year award is being announced, apparently. It's Cristiano Ronaldo's won the UEFA's Best Player. Nice little cutscene. Maybe one day, that will be me. That's the aim, to win that award in this save. We'll have to wait and see if we actually can. Is that a sign of things to come? A hat-trick on the same day that Cristiano Ronaldo wins European Player of the Year. Oh, boys. I'm pleased with that. That's going to bring this episode to a close, though. Do drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel, too, for more. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I can build on that in the future episodes. Let me know if I'm doing things right with regards to my training, etc. And uh, I, will, I will adjust it as per your suggestions. I've actually added one to stamina and added one to shooting as well and taken one off passing. So we'll have to wait and see how things develop throughout the, uh, the course of the season. But we're up one overall already. We've started to score goals as well. Let's give it a cheeky save. And I will see you next time.